Hi, Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch. Hi, in the Uyana Mountains of Eastern Utah. Today, I'm gonna let you take a trip and be a fly on the wall and watch what I do. Yeah, harvest right, freeze dryer, and the pump, and the pump, oh, it's my nemesis. Every time you finish a batch, you gotta dump the oil and you dump the oil into this fancy strainer thing and you gotta replace the filter and you gotta do all these funky things to it and every 10 or 20 batches you gotta pull this off and clean it out because it's full of gunk. I gotta come up with something different. So I've been doing a little research and a little uh, testing and I'm gonna let you come along with me for the ride to see what I do. I'm going to build an automatic pump system for this baby so I don't have to take this apart every single time. See, we start running our freeze dryer about 24 seven from about the middle of July until oh, probably the end of January with all of the garden and everything that we grow and, and get here. We're freeze drying all the time. And it's gotta be able to run and it goes down and I gotta do the oil and oh, it's just a pain. It just can't happen. So I'm gonna set up a, an automatic oil filtration system for this and I'm gonna let you come along for the ride. Let's go. So here is why I'm building an auto filtration system. I'm, I've broken the pump down, put the auto filtration system in. It has done two batches, two batches since I replaced the filter in another video. And that's the scum and crud that you get. And it's new oil, but that's what happens when, when you're freeze drying in the pump. It just fills up with goo. So uh, that's why I'm building a, a filtration system because this gook is unbelievable crap. Ooh, can I say that? All right. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and click the notify button so that you know when I release new videos. First, let me say that the time between shooting this footage and making this video has been over a year and this baby works wonderfully. I opened the pump after 10 batches and it looks just like new. Shiny, clean, no gunk, no soot, no yuck. Okay, so here we have the parts that you're going to need to build the automatic oil filter and water separator. From left to right, we have a box of a quarter inch vinyl hose and that is a box. You probably don't need a box. You can just go to the hardware store and measure what you need, buy it that way but I have a box on hand because I have lots of projects going. The next thing is the diesel fuel filter water separator. Then we have some 12 volt wire, some connectors, crimpers, the uh, cheapy overflow <laughs> reservoir, uh, the fuel pump, a quarter inch by eight inch brass pipe that goes in the bottom of the pump where the original drain plug is now quarter inch brass T, quarter inch brass male pipe to a quarter inch hose barb, quarter inch brass closed nipple, and a quarter inch brass female to female gate valve, quarter inch male to female, and a half inch male to female PVC coupler decoupler. And then there's miscellaneous PVC pipe and T's and you can look in the description for the details of all of the parts. Next, there's a 120 volt AC to 12 volt DC, 4 amp power supply, a timer, the electrical plugs, a filter mounting base, a 3 8 by 3 8 by quarter brass T, female, female, female. And a special note here, the quarter inch part is the stem side of the T. You want to make sure that's what you get. And then there's a 3 8 brass close nipple and some quarter inch hose clamps. All these items are listed in the description and you can find them on my website that's listed in the description as well. So here I'm putting Teflon tape on all of the uh, fittings, the pipe fittings and getting them ready to put them all together and uh, it takes a little bit of time and now I'm putting them together. All right, now we've jumped into the uh, completed assembly and I'm gonna leave it on this frame just for a moment so that you can get a good look at how it's all put together and then let's get on to the next part. 
So now the pump is all put together, uh, ready to go, and I need to install it on the machine. And uh, so I'm just putting the filters and the barbs and everything here, getting them in uh, place. And I decided I was going to mount it uh, right on the bottom, the wood that the freeze dryer is sitting on on my stand. But I did decide that I was going to put the timer and the switch right on the face of the freeze dryer. Now, if you do this, you'll void the warranty of the freeze dryer, but ours is way out of warranty anyway, so it didn't matter. And then all my switches are right there with everything else on the freeze dryer. So doing a little chopping, a little drilling, some pilot holes, and get it all cut in. So I'm just going to let you watch me finish putting this together for about the next 30 seconds. So here it is complete. Let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye to Scuzzy Moto here. Holy smoke. That's just that's just three batches right there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's ugly. So here it is. Here's the pump. And I use the I use the um, cap that used to be in the pump. And that just goes right back on top right here when you're done. You gotta try this when you're looking at the camera left-handed. Okay, so there it is. And you can see the clear glass. I look at my other video and you'll see my little short video on how to clean that glass real easy. The uh, the pipe comes out the bottom, comes to this T fitting that's going to pull out of the bottom of the pump up, and it's going to go into the filter. And this is a water separator filter, so the water will pile up in here, and I can just drain the water right out of there. And it's filtering the oil. This is a this is a diesel fuel filter, so it's it's very good. Then it comes out of here and it's pulled by the electric fuel pump. And that comes back down in and goes back in to the top through this 3 8 T. Back into the reservoir. So I'm gonna turn it on and show you what it looks like. So the timer here shows that it's timing down from 10 seconds and it's gonna run for 240 seconds. I've just got that set to run, so it'll keep running. And you can see that it's pulling air through the pipe, through the filter. It's purging the air. This is the first time I've run it. camera focus I'm a little too close there there we go so the oil is coming out of the bottom up through the filter in and then out it's being pulled by the fuel pump and it's being put right back in just uses a little um, just a little computer uh, power supply it's a 4 amp power supply and uh, 12 volts and uh, so that just plugs in and then I had this little timer that I had uh, bought for another solution another project and I uh, decided to use it because it, the pump doesn't need to run all the time so I'll probably set it to run 60 seconds on 60 seconds off when the when I uh, when the pump actually comes on in this in the drying cycles so that's how it works. I actually, I built this stand 
for the freeze dryer so that everything is up and out of the way. And you can see inside here, I need to get you a light. You can see inside here, uh, my wiring. There we go. And that's just the, the timer over there with the switch. And it just comes out the bottom and works right there. Yeah, cool. Now listen, if you do this, you're gonna void the warranty on your pump if your pump is still under warranty. And just keep in mind that manufacturers look for anything to void the warranty, anything for them not to be responsible. Even though this is going to preserve this pump and give this pump a greater life, they would void the warranty. Uh, it's out of warranty anyway, so that doesn't matter. And I put the timer in the front of the in the uh, uh, freeze dryer, and that would void the warranty there too. But it's out of warranty. Uh, we've had it for I don't know four or five years, and it just runs and runs and runs. It's it's a very 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 good machine, but uh, you can see that I put the pipe coming down so that it uh, the vacuum hose coming down and then it comes around through here. I actually ordered another one from Harvest Right so that I could basically uh, connect them together and have a little more room. And it comes up and goes over and down to the pump. So that's uh, that's how to uh, make yourself an oil, an automatic oil filtration system. I'll put all of the information uh, in the description. Uh, if you wanna go to cougarridgeranch.com I'll put uh, I'll put in the parts list of where I got all of these parts and and uh, I'm sure I can figure out where I got this and uh, put it up for you. You can see that it's got uh, 24 seconds left. And then it's going to rest for 10 seconds. And then it'll just come on again. I I've just I've just got it running for 240 seconds just to uh, make sure that it purges out all of the air and. Uh, I don't see any air coming through the pipes anymore. Everything is purged, everything is full. Uh, my level is a little bit low. I'll have to put it on. The timer just shut off and uh, it's timing down. It's coming to uh, three, two, one, and it's gonna go again. So there it goes again. Uh, I'm just gonna let it run for a couple of uh, cycles just to make sure that everything's working. You can see I put a a valve and a little elbow here just so that I can drain the whole system if I want uh, it doesn't give me much room from the, for the floor that's okay uh, I could always lift it up and put something else under now one of the things that uh, you saw when I had all the parts out at the table is I had this funky little jar this is just a jar from the dollar store and uh, it's kind of cheap the lid shattered when I was making the hole in the top but uh, I just used a uh, half inch PVC with this coupler right here so that I can uncouple it and, and move the pump around. But what happens is uh, when when the pump is warm, oh, there comes some air back. When the pump is, is hot, uh, I've, I've had some issues where the, uh, the power has gone out on us uh, in the house and then it comes back on. And when it comes back on, uh, the pump kicks right back in and when the pump is hot like that it blows oil it blows oil right up this tube and there's they, they put a little filter thing on but it just blows oil all over so when you have this filter system you're going to be able to have more oil in the reservoir than normal because as this filter starts to fill up with water it's going to uh, have more volume in the system and so this uh, this uh, uh, pump reservoir could get a little higher so I built this uh, just so that I could uh, keep the oil from spraying all over another tip is I put it on a little cake pan I just went down to the down to the uh, secondhand store and got this old burned up cake pan and put it on here just so if the pump has a leak and it has the back seal. Look at my other video replacing the back seal. The back seal goes out occasionally, 
about every two or three years. And then as the oil comes out, it catches in this pan and it doesn't go all over the floor and everywhere else. So the first thing I do is I get myself a little paper towel and uh, just an old pill bottle. Uh, it doesn't have to be terribly big. And then I put a little crack on the open of the uh, nut here at the bottom, the drain. And then you have to, this, the system is sealed so there's no air that can get into this. And so you have to kind of loosen the oil filter itself. So a little air, you can see the air going in because it's dripping down back in the hose here to the uh, reservoir. But that lets me know that a little air is going in. And then I can open this drain and there comes the water. See the water coming out? And as it usually fills, when the water comes to the end, just before the oil starts to drip, the water really stops. And I can sometimes get a little shake and loosen it a little bit. And, but uh, the oil is thicker than the water. And so it kind of gets stuck in the little in the little opening here and uh, most of the water will come out you can see it's still still dribbling just a little bit if I open it a lot I'll start to get oil there's a little bit of oil coming a little bit of oil there so then I'll just tighten this back up and I'll tighten everything back up wipe it all down a little bit put a paper towel down here underneath it and there's the there's the uh, water and you can see a little bit of the green uh, dairy pump oil in there and I turn the pump back on and uh, let it just cycle a little bit longer so that I know that it's all clean and pretty and dump out the water And that's it. Simple as that. You don't have to take the pump apart. The pump is just absolutely crystal clean inside. That's kind of how uh, I run the freeze dryer. I'm going to put the side back on here and uh, get it back in business. It needs to. Uh, it needs to be going 24/7 right now. We've got a ton of produce from the garden from this summer. So, thanks for watching, Brad. Call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch, 7,000 feet up in the uh, Hyuena Mountains. Uh, appreciate you watching. <laughs> Ciao. That's a cowboy talk, right?